What is a movie that you watched only because you're so wanted to watch it? 500 Days of Summer. Lol they thought it was a feel-good movie lol as the credits rolled I couldn't help but feel that. The movie reflected our relationship and it was never going to last. Great movie though. Toy Story 2, not into Disney movies but I ended up crying? Now I cry at so much shit lol. Moulin Rouge, and honestly it was a fantastic movie. I bought the Blu-ray haha. Big Fish. Had no idea what it was about and was really confused until halfway through. Every Hallmark Christmas movie ever made. Everyone. We watched The Notebook in the theater. The place was packed. I was one of three dudes there. Barbie and it ended up being good. Any horror movie I ever watched was because my wife loves them. I would never watch a single one ever again if it wasn't for her. The Twilight series. Didn't like them. She said horror movies starts her engines if you will. Unbeknownst to her I used to hate horror movies. So obviously I played the strong macho guy that is totally not scared of horror movies. We cuddled up. Put insidious. And I did my best to stare at absolutely anything besides the TV. Every movie and show. We're currently on Gilmore Girls. It's not bad. Eventually I'll get her to watch John Wick. She was very excited to show me UHF so I ended up obliging. I'm not much of a weird owl guy but you enjoyed the movie. It was like a Monty Python film so that was certainly interesting. Barbie. And it was actually alright. Funnier than I thought it would be. Downton Abbey. Ugh. The Fault in Our Stars. She begged me to go see it I said fine she wanted to leave halfway through and I made her stay. Lol. Wife went on a lifetime movie kick for a few months in winter as nothing else was on. She regretted it after week four. As all the movies seem to have the same problem where the wife-girlfriend is always falling down. A staircase. Glad that period is over. Twilight, Dear John, and some other awful romance movies. That recent Pixar movie that came out called Elemental. It was a good movie too ill admit. I also watched The New Little Mermaid with her also because she was talking about going to the theater and seeing it by herself. Because she didn't think I'd want to go. And of course I volunteered to go with her. 27 Dresses. It was nice to see James Marsden play a character who doesn't get screwed over romantically. Chicago. It's one of her favorite movies. I liked it. Great songs and production and costume design. Interstellar. Aside from some head scratchers dragging with character actions. We both like this one. Shoplifters. We saw this at a film festival. She loved it. I thought it was very good. Prob mentioned it before. But up. Damn thing totally blindsided me and I cried at that scene. Damn it. Shape of Water. Magic Mike 2XL. Titanic. My Big Fat Greek Wedding 1-2. Harry Potter. Every Disney movie post-1990s classics. There are apparently 11 billion adaptations of Jane Austen's work. Almost without exception they are very good. All of them. I don't watch movies of my own will. God are you there? It's me Margaret. It was a charming movie that critiqued religion in a pretty honest way and highlighted just how fast some girls want to grow up. I thought it was fun to watch. And intuitive. Barbie and She's the Man. Where the Crawdads Sing. We read the book together and it was a great read. The film did not do it justice and I knew it wouldn't as soon as a film was announced. We've both watched so many because the other wanted to. Highlight from her films was Save the Last Dance and Love Actually. I like those and my highlight is that I got her to watch Lord of the Rings and she got so invested.
She ended up reading my copies of the books along with The Hobbit and more. I was gonna watch Scarface and now I doubt I ever will because she's gone. The Menu Fifty Shades of Grey Harry Potter Far too many to name. Possibly The Notebook was one that I wouldn't have ever picked myself. Lord of the Rings Signs Good movie. Didn't expect humor and especially didn't expect it to actually be funny. 810 stars. Rocky Horror Picture Show. I simply don't like musicals and while the movie was okay, I'll never choose to watch it again. Although seeing Tim Curry in drag was a little jarring at first rolling on the floor laughing. Not a movie but Riverdale. Well X anyway. Mary Poppins, terrible movie haha. Mamma Mia and Mamma Mia 2. Left me the earworm that is the main song and the realization Thag Mamma Mia is basically an elaborate but tamer Maury Jerry Springer episode. Moana and Frozen Moana was actually really good. Frozen was trash. Edit Mamma Mia. Also trash. The entire Marvel franchise. And it was awesome. One of the Harry Potter ones. I hate Harry Potter but hadn't seen a movie since I was like six so I decided to watch it. She fell asleep. I watched the whole extremely boring thing and my hatred for Harry Potter rekindled. Pretty Liars. A Nigerian film. He thought it was hilarious. I thought it was boring but pretended to enjoy it for his sake. It's where the meme why are you running came from. Little Miss Sunshine Sun Face It's a great movie. Barbie. I don't remember the name of the movie. The New Little Mermaid. Gotta say it wasn't half bad. I end up watching a lot of action movies because of her. I can't stand action. You would think it would be opposite lol. White Chicks. Damn that was a pos movie. Almost every movie that she picks. Barbie, The Princess and the Pauper. Fight Club. The Office full series five times. The Matrix probably more times. Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Dragon Ball Z Super. One Punch Man. American Pie. I've made him watch almost every Tim Burton film. But only one time per movie O oh, and the Saw series. Child's Play Chucky series and Final Destination series. Rent. And I hated every second of it. I don't have any one specific reason why I hate it. I could go on an hours long rant but for brevity's sake I'll say I just really hate rent. Cliché as it is to say. The only part one liked about it was when it ended lol. I pretended to like it to spare her feelings cause she was singing along the whole time. After I went home I figured it was a bad movie adaptation and looked for a decent quality film. Theater production of it and realized my initial reaction was justified. Titanic. Barbie. The beginning creeped me out but the rest was good-ish. The Green Mile. The one with Harry Styles that was as it turns out actually entertaining was about women being captive in a virtual reality or something. Pretty much anything with Adam Sandler, Jim Carrey, or Will Ferrell face vomiting. Tyler Perry The Conjuring Most of those Netflix chick flicks like all the boys I've loved before and stuff like that. Five Feet Apart Not bad actually, one of those sappy teen movies. When I was in high school some 15 years ago. The Notebook. More recently. My Filipina ex wanted to watch some Philippine movie with me that didn't have subtitles. I know only a small handful of Tagalog. Demon Hunter. Terrible movie. A Walk to Remember. Lovely Bones. The Notebook. To name a few. I really wanted to watch Talk to Me. My Big Fat Greek Wedding 1-3 Blade Runner. It's now one of my all-time favorites.